everyone, this is Miss Angelina from Lobby School of English Language. I am an IELTS coach and a language trainer. And in this live session, we will be talking about elocution lessons. We will be talking about cue card questions. And you will answer my questions that I will ask you during this live session. This is Miss Angelina. I am your IELTS coach and your language trainer. We have Kamran Ali and he's saying hi. Hi Kamran, how are you? I'm good, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in for today. And Badar is here too. Hi Ahmed, how are you today? I hope you're having a good day. Uh, song from Korea. I still remember you because that is South Korea probably. Hello, hi, I hope you're doing great. Uh, I'm doing good today. Please uh, try to be participative and if I ask you a question, try to answer in the comment section below. I'm just going to repeat the uh, elocution lessons from yesterday that we learned and I'm just going to show that to you guys if you remember. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, this one. If you guys remember this one, I would want you to Okay, that's great. Uh, that's a beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, uh, I'm uh, I'm talking to you, Sung. Okay, so here you guys are, and uh, this was the tongue twister that we practiced yesterday. I shall surely see the sunshine soon, and selfish. Okay, so if uh, you guys can repeat it, that would be great. Wherever you're sitting right now, try to repeat this tongue twister. We call it an elocution lesson where you learn how to pronounce your words properly. Okay, so uh, this was a tongue twister from yesterday. So try to repeat it. Mariam has joined. I want to improve my grammar while speaking. Uh, okay, um, yes, uh, you know what happens, Mariam? We, we know the grammar but when we are speaking unconsciously we make the errors unconsciously we make those errors and when somebody tells you that hey you said i didn't i didn't ate my lunch and you're like no no how is it possible it's just a thing that you need to record yourself you know give yourself a question and talk about it and observe that how, how many mistakes do you make unconsciously mariam this is for you because you know the grammar. It's not a thing that you don't know the grammar. It's just that unconscious mistakes because of not using it. Or maybe maybe you, ha maybe you do not have a lot of clarity on the use of do, does and did. Could be a thing. Because I think so you can make a good sentence. But sometimes you don't know that, okay, I did not have a car. Or maybe I say that I did not have long hair. So you might not know that why you're using I did not have and why you're not using I did not had you might not have an I idea yes Talha Dar has joined so Talha I have sent you a wave this is a tongue twister from yesterday that we practiced and we call it uh, an elocution lesson please try to read it out it says I shall surely see the sunshine soon I shall surely see the sunshine soon please uh, pronounce it Okay, then the next one that we practiced yesterday was this one. Oh, okay, no, this way. I think you guys can read it. Black background, brown background. Black background, brown background, right? Black background, brown background, okay? Practice this one as well because I need to move to my next lesson for today. And the question that you need to answer for me is, um, you have to tell me about your favorite festival. You have to tell me about your favorite festival and why do you like it and how do you like to celebrate it? The question for today is, tell me about your favorite festival. Tell me about your favorite festival how do you celebrate it and why do you like it? This is your question that you have to answer in the comment section for me. And this is the tongue twister from yesterday. Black background, brown background.
Okay, moving forward, uh, in the meantime, uh, Sajid Urrahman is here and he's saying vocabulary helps us to develop our own grammar rules. <sighs> really? Are you sure about this, Sajid? Because I don't really agree with that. I don't. How can vocabulary helps you? Uh, sorry, vocabulary. How can vocabulary help you to uh, develop your own grammar rules? I don't get that. No, I don't really get that. Uh, okay, so uh, this is the new tongue twister for for today. I prepared in advance for you guys. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, let me tell um, you one thing. I watched a movie. Uh, Farai is saying, Ma'am, let me tell you something. I watched a movie and th there is one dialogue uh, on a seesaw, on a sea, sea, I saw, you saw, he saw, she saw. It's quite funny and I think it should be a tongue twister. Yes, it can be a tongue twister. It can be a tongue twister, but I don't really, I don't really see the shift from sh and s sound because normally the the tongue normally fumbles when we are shifting from sh to s sh s. So basically, that's the that's the point. This this can be a tongue twister though. I cannot because it's it carries seesaw and the cc, right? Okay, so this is the tongue twister for today that you can practice with me. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor. We call it elocution lesson. Elocution lesson means that this is a lesson that can help you improve your pronunciation and your fluency. And it can help you develop a rhythm when you speak. So this is your elocution lesson for today. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor. And for all those people who think that this word is new for them, that is elocution. That's E-L-O-C-U-T-I-O-N. Elocution lesson. This is Miss Angelina. I am your IELTS coach and your language trainer. And I'm here to teach you guys an elocution lesson. And you have to answer my question that is... Which is your favorite festival and how do you celebrate it and why do you like it? How do you celebrate it and why do you like it? This is your question for the day and you have to answer that for me. I will be reading all your comments and definitely I'd be correcting your mistakes also. This is your tongue twister for today or we can call it your elocution lesson for today. On a lazy laser, like laser, razor, lies a laser ray razor. Now this word is like ray, like bay, like day, like gay. So making that A sound a little bit longer. So gay, bay, um, tell me more words like ray, ray day, bay, gay. I cannot think of any more right now. But definitely you can. This is Ray. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor. And this is your elocution lesson for today. Okay guys, Farah has also given a tongue twister. That says on a seesaw, on a cc, I saw, you saw, he saw, he saw. And it's quite funny. Yes, it is. All those people who have tuned in for now, this is Miss Angelina. I am your IELTS coach and a language trainer. Please, please try to answer the question that I have given you. Uh, which is your favorite festival and why do you like it? Which is your favorite festival and why do you like it? Which is your favorite festival and why do you like it? Okay. Oh, there are lots of comments. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed comments of so many people. Muhammad is here that 
Life is all about happening, happening and moment. We have many festivals every year, but Eid festival is amazing and we enjoy together and eat a lot, um, a lot after one month of fasting. Okay, you can also call it Lenting. When you Lent, that means you fast. Okay, so Mariam Sahil is saying, I'm quite aware of grammar. But the thing when I'm speaking on some topic fluently, then this happens. I can understand, Mariam. I told you already before reading this comment that you can be very good at grammar, but unconsciously you make those errors. So I start making mistakes, but only a, an educated person could find, not an educated person, a good English speaker or a good English listener can find out the mistakes. That means you're making mistakes with your grammar and you think maybe you're unaware, okay? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not just saying, I'm just saying that probably you don't know. It could be a thing that probably you don't know that, so that's why I'm saying just record yourself, record your voice, right? And try to see that what kind of mistakes do you make? Okay, um, or, or Mariam, I can give you an option. Uh, you can send uh, me your voicemail on my whatsapp okay and i'll tell you what kind of mistakes do you make normally and how you can improve because i cannot tell this way that how would you improve your mistakes because i re i'm really not aware with your level of english right now mariam you can text me on my number that is oh three three one four five double oh nine oh eight Okay, Kamran Ali is saying that I like Eid al-Fitar, everyone meets, everyone should be treated as a singular noun, so everyone meets each other and goes to, okay, goes to relatives' homes and, and everyone, we're talking about everyone, so, and takes EDs, okay, but in this, on this seed, I think so, it seems like we can't go anywhere, because of coronavirus. Farai saying, oh, on a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor. Okay, Chef is saying, Spice World Food Festival, Taste Tour Food Festival in Australia. Okay, that, that sounds great. Uh, Safir has also typed the uh, tongue twister. Uh, okay, so uh, Bhat Bhatti Sabi is saying that, hello ma'am, good evening. Hi, good evening, how are you? There is a guy who's asking me, can I ask you something? You can if it's okay. If it's not okay, then don't ask. Okay. Uh, uh, Umehani is here again and she has gotten the tongue twister already. Okay. Then we have... Uh, uh, okay. I'm late and I was cooking... What is this rice called? Jaggery? 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 I don't know. Hey, can you please tell me the recipe of that? That probably I might ask my mom to try. Because if it's good, then I must try it. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Farah is saying that I don't have any festival. Uh, all festivals are equal to me. Whether it is Eid or Fathar or Eid al Aza, I know that because we had to we have to stay we have to stay at home our relatives are very far away from us oh I got it I got you girl okay so Muhammad is saying how are you I'm good thank you so much thank you thank you so much Umehani please share the recipe with us so that many people can get help that how this new type of rice is cooked Okay, guys, the, the, the other tongue twister for today is this one. I'm showing you this now so that you can practice. It is how many sheets could a sheet slitter? This is a slitter. Slitter means um, basically if you tear something apart or you just tearing is slitting, right? So sl sheet slitter. Okay, if you if if you tell me that slit the paper, this is I'm just slitting it, right? So this paper is a slitted paper, right? This paper is cut. So we have slitter machines as well that would just cut the paper in the equal size. 
so we are just talking about a sheet slit up okay uh, this is a machine that you know cuts the paper into like a4 size or different sizes okay so we call it a sheet slitter slit in in case mean that uh okay like for example uh you can use that for your clothes as well if there's a slit in your pants you can use it that way as well you know okay how many sheets could a sheet slitter slit if a sheet slitter could slit sheets this is the tongue twister for today how many sheets could a sheet slitter slit if a sheet slitter could slit sheets sheets and slit slit sheets okay this is the next tongue twister or the elocution lesson for today how many sheets could a sheet slitter slit if a sheet slitter could slit sheets okay so many people are watching right now and we have a muhammad uh nine uh kata here who's saying that okay wow i i say wow to you too same here what kind of rice what kind what kind of what kind of the rice okay rice is saying looking gorgeous oh a little malfunction here and there this happens in a live chat okay um in blue it really suits you oh thank you so much tear apart yes exactly uh my question but it is not connected with the topic uh okay uh okay um too many tongue twisters uh okay too many tongue twisters somebody's saying that okay i'm saying hello to everyone who's saying hi to me prince is saying hi vanya is saying hi prince amir is saying hi and he's saying that i look beautiful thank you so much for your love okay your love and support and all those people who are watching me right now please 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 subscribe to my youtube channel prince amir subscribe to my youtube channel vanya please subscribe to my youtube channel that is lavi school of language and i have mentioned the link in the description box and rumam Rum, rumana rumana is here too hi rumana how are you thank you so much for tuning in please subscribe to my youtube channel and this is the tongue twister for today that is how many sheets could a sheet slitter slit if a sheet slitter could slit sheets how many sheets could a sheet slitter slit if a sheet slitter could slit sheets this is your tongue twister for today ma'am will you discuss about grammar i'll try to just ask me your question i'll try to okay th this was the first one for today all those people who have just joined in okay this is the first one for today i think so uh i need to just put my phone on silent just a moment just... sorry oh, oh shit 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 what is this okay fine okay guys so uh this was the first one all these people who have just started watching this was the first one for today that was on a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor on a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor this entire live session is for elocution pronunciation and fluency and if i i might see your questions which are relevant related to grammar or related to writing i'll try to answer but you need to answer this question for me that is which is your favorite festival which is your favorite festival and why do you like it brown sugar oh of course great i got it brown brown sugar i know that so you're talking about 
Rice cooked with brown sugar. That makes sense. Okay. So, uh, Salman is saying hi. Hi, Salman. How are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. And this is your tongue twister for today, guys. This was the first tongue twister. Let me, guys, let me, let me just tell you guys a tip for practicing tongue twisters. I might have taught you about 10 plus tongue twisters by far. So, I would just tell you that what you need to do is, what you need to do is, when you wake up in the morning, try to practice, try to repeat all the tongue twisters, okay? And then forget about them. Do not try to practice all the time. Then around evening, when you are doing something else, probably talking to someone or cooking food or washing or like cleaning or like having a chat with your friends, just get a recall that I might have to say all my tongue twisters once again and say that and say that and afterwards afterwards what you need to do at night before going to bed it's just like tablets but you just need to do that in and you will find a huge huge difference in your pronunciation within a week and you would find yourself at a place that earlier i could not i could not say words together how can i do it now it's just a thing that you know this is called articulation. What do we call it? Articulation. Sometimes we don't move our facial muscles in the right direction. So tongue twisters always allow us to move our facial muscles in the right direction. See, what happens normally when we speak British English, our tongue is always down there. Like you don't really move it up much right it just stays there if you would ever notice my tongue when i talk you will you will and then you know just just move your muscles because if you say that she then like open your mouth and say that and open your mouth enough in the beginning when you're exercising you need to do that you need to do that okay when you're exercising for your tongue twisters you need to practice these elocution lessons open your mouth wide enough activate your facial muscles activate the muscles that you have in here so that you can develop the right kind of voice right when you're talking so that's called your articulation lessons so very very important if you say she making sure that you she open your mouth it's okay you might look funny for some time but it's okay after some time it's going to be just fine she Sells, sells, sea, shells on the sea, shore. You know, and you need to do this exercise almost every day. I'm uh, on Instagram by the name of Anna Angelina134. And all those people who want to join my personal Instagram, they can follow me on my Instagram. That is Anna Angelina134. All those people who want to follow me on Instagram, they can. And my Instagram ID is A N N A N A, and then Angelina, that is A N G E L I N A. And then we have 134. If anyone could um, listen to me properly, you guys can type in the comment section below for all those people who would want to follow me on Instagram. Right? And a uh, way of teaching is exceptional and looking beautiful. Asrar is saying, thank you so much. You're a kind-hearted person. And uh, I'm just telling you guys that please, 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 you know, exercise every day. All those people who want to be very good speakers and they want to learn RP, that is received pronunciation. Although they do not have English as their first language, you need to learn how to stretch the muscles of your own face. How to how to learn how you can how you can keep your tongue in because you speak Urdu, you speak Punjabi, you speak Hindi, you speak uh, Korean, you speak Chinese, you speak uh oh for i know that i know that you followed me thank you so much that's so kind of you girl that is very very kind of you uh dennis is saying i just like chewing something that you need to access yeah chewing is good but right now we are talking about our vocal codes that we're talking about you know getting to learn getting to learn that how well you can stretch these muscles and even 
even you know just just just, just like this for example let's let's say this tongue twister or you can get a hard candy just get a hard candy put it on your tongue put the hard candy on your tongue hard candy is hard candy is not eclairs eclairs is a soft candy right i'm talking about a hard candy that is like i think so one rupee candy here one rupee or two rupees candy i'm not sure about that right so you can just put it right on your tongue and you can uh you can you can pretty much talk about it like put the candy here right on your tongue and then start saying it because when you will put the candy right on your tongue you would not be able to move it up because if you will move up the the you would swallow the candy so because of the fear of that you would not you would not so put a candy here right on your tongue i think so from tomorrow i should get a candy and you guys can get a candy for for yourself as well so just put a candy here and then try to say that just let's let's say this one just think that you have a candy on your tongue on a lazy laser laser razor lazy laser ray razor open your mouth wide enough in the beginning in order to activate these muscles and hear the vocal cords in here and this is what you need to do sometimes people say that oh my god why i can't speak like a british person or why i can't have a better pronunciation when you speak in your native language you who are very very comfortable you know i'm just giving a tip for all those people who do not have english as their first language they don't know you know how to move their own face in a particular direction like if i say the word particular in the beginning just stretch your muscles and try to say that once you'll be fluent then later on you can just even close your mouth and talk it doesn't matter right but in the beginning of course you need to learn that we learn english and face exercise too do you know uh every b- b- body it's amazing see 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 it's not about facial exercise it's articulation you know it's very much connected to your production of sounds and um how how to how to move your tongue properly where to put it to produce the right kind of accent whatever you call it or like the pronunciation um good suggestion of candy yes of course that is a very good suggestion you guys should do that because see in the beginning i want you guys to open your mouth and speak whatever tongue twister it is in the beginning you need to give it a go you need to you need to give it a go like this one let's practice this one with open mouth and please whoever is watching me right now open your mouth okay uh i think so anyway. okay from this side how say it proper how let it open how might look funny but it's okay how many sheets sheets when you say that then open your mouth stretch your muscles how many sheets how many sheets how many sheets could a sheet could a sheet say that could a sheet slitter slit slitter slit slitter slit i know you, we can also say that like this people who or who are already fluent and they don't really have a problem with their articulation they can even say how many sheets could a sheet slitter slit if a sheet slitter could slit sheets right so just like that very simple not even opening too much you might have seen uh, british people when they talk or even Ameri- americans like they do their expressions loud i'm just telling you that you know making it you can even speak like this once you're fluent enough because you know you know the sound is being produced from here or from the chest you know how to handle everything so i know i don't know uh, to be angry but it's exercise too i don't know that uh thanks for your advice tongue twisting okay ma'am also tell new viewers to yes aziz has just reminded me aziz you're such a sweetheart thank you so much for reminding me please new viewers this is miss angelina here i am an ielts coach and a language trainer please please subscribe to my youtube channel that is lavi school of language what lavi school of language and i have mentioned 
the link in the description box. You can see that. You can just click the link and you would land right on my YouTube channel and you will click the subscribe button and you will hit the notification bell for me. Okay, so Rahim is saying hi. Hi, Rahim. How are you? How are you today? Far, are you still there or you're gone? A lazy, sorry. A lazy laser razor lies. Sorry, I think I missed this word. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor. So if you would get the sense of this word, that is eraser. Eraser. Try to get some words that carry er at the end. Let's talk about it. Eraser. Give me some words, guys that carry ER at the end. Let's talk about the pronunciation of those words. Eraser, laser. See, I cannot think of any right now. Yes, you're here watching. Please give me some rhyming words with this, you know. Uh, like uh, the words that, that would end with ER or ER, like, so that we can get that uh oh sound at the end. Eraser. Razor. I really can't think of any. <laughs> computer. Yes, thank you, Suresh. Thank you. Computer. Like, uh, computer. Computer. But if you're gonna print operator. Oh my god, Suresh. Thank you. <gasps> operator. Operator. Computer. Okay. Oh, and, 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 and. What more? What more? Shopper. Sorry. Shopper? Yeah. Shop. Sharpener. Okay. okay. Riser? Teacher. Yes, you're right too. Laser. Saphir, use your head. Brother. Yes, brother. So we're talking about if we talk about this. See, elocution lessons can really, really help you learn lots of words and the pronunciation as well i'm just gonna tell you protector supervisor absolutely right supervisor happier 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 uh just like happier uh happier happier mariam is saying happier okay so the word is better yes exactly the uh, the person is right. Better. B E double -T, T E R. Why you are not reading my comments? Uh, I think so. Comments are moving up too quickly, girl. I'm really sorry. Laser. Call me. No. Leather. Leather. Absolutely right. Call me. But I'm sorry for missing your comments, girl. Trust me. Moving up like very quickly. Okay. So just because of we learned this one, that is. I'm just going to tell you the difference in here for British and American so that you can understand and you can choose for yourself that which one do you like. You can choose for yourself that which one do you like, okay? Like eraser, like if you're making more rotate and put your tongue here, like smaller, yeah. I'm just telling you for American, listen, smaller. Lur, like making it lur, smaller, that's smaller, okay, lur, like being roti, cooler, cooler, but, um, I'm, uh, then, okay, then we have, wait, 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 like we say super, super cool, super, that's super, super, amazing, super, in American English, the R produces that sound, that is, rrr, the sound of R, that's there try to all those people who are fans of american uh, style of speaking they can practice that r sound it's quite hard though for all those people who have not lived in america and it's not like native but you can learn that it's not a difficult thing like we say the word car car you know you're making it you you're making your tongue roll in here that is car 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 and if you talk about british then it would be car ah car that's not my car 
So simple. That's not my car. Super, super. See, just just check check it out. And I want you guys to do it. Just just check the movement of your own tongue. That when you say super, super, it just goes down. And if you say super, it goes up. Like this, it goes up. Super, er, uh, goes up. Super, drops down. So this is the basic difference when we talk about this all oh sound at the end that is eraser or eraser uh, going up. Okay? Uh, eraser, eraser, uh, going up. Okay? So this is the big difference. I'm just going to pronounce the words that you guys have sent me. The word smaller, ah, drop it. Smaller, creator. Okay, the word is grammar or grammar. You can pr pronounce it anyway. Gra, ah, British pronunciation, grammar. American, grammar, mer, up, tongue is up. Grammar, right? Or grammar. Ah, drop it down. Gram up. Okay. Cooler. Dia is saying, um, yes, Dia's, uh, I, I, I come live almost every day uh, around 9 p.m. Pakistan time. Okay. Lesser, lesser, sorry, lesser, taller, manager, longer, shorter. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I think so. Articulation really makes you thirsty later. Okay, ruler, shopper, okay, 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 sorry, Miss Inat, on the, beggar, yes, you're right, uh, we don't, see, it's not like that, that we don't pronounce, like, E-R has a uh sound, that is a, that is called a diphthong, right, uh, uh, right, that's it, that's the sound in here, cross, Sorry, customer, beginner. Yes, Sunny is saying blessings. Thank you. So please, guys, please, please, please practice. Now we're going to move to this word, for example. This is Ray. A. Ray. Ray. So just like you, if you're going to find the, 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 the rhyme in words, you're going to find out that, oh my God, I know how to pronounce that. You say day. Ray, day, may, gay. Okay, if you guys are there, please try to find me the rhyming words for this so that we can pronounce it and we could learn how to wait. No way. We always say that. No way. Ray, a, a, no way. Right, right, Raheem. Thank you so much. Rhyme in words, say. What do you say? You might have heard that. What do you say? Say. Ray. Away. Get away. Get away. Uh, okay. Uh, Nish Navishana is saying that this is all about articulation. But the grammar weighs more in, in the actual test of speaking. But this is very uh, good uh, head start applause. Yes, of course, we are not talking about the IELTS speaking task. Of course, grammar matters, accuracy matters, task achievement matters, how well you can understand the question, that matters. And of course, if you want to score a 7, you need to be a good speaker. Of course, this is a very basic lesson related to elocution. So I hope so it would help a lot of uh, people. Uh, okay, pharma, uh, may... Uh, pa uh, passed away, passed away, passed away. It should be like pass, pass away or passed away. Gray, absolutely. Practice that. All those viewers who are watching me right now, and if you can read the comments, practice these words because very soon you would be able to be very fluent. Maybe. Yes, you're right. Buncha, buncha, whatever your name is, B U N C H A. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. It seems like you're a new viewer. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Lavi School of Language. Please subscribe to my channel. Rahim is saying try, way, say, lay, ray. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Farah. This is uh, uh, this is uh, 
uh, this, sorry, try this. Three flies fought over where to fly one, one wished, one wished away, one swished away, sorry, one swished away to a Swiss fish fry. Yeah, that's a long one and a difficult one. But I can still say it for you slowly, but of course it takes time to, you know, say it three to four times together because you need to memorize it then. Three flies fought over where to fly, one swished away to a Swiss fish fry. Okay, cool. Sunny's saying I love you. I'm saying I love you too. Uh, lay and say and uh, day x-ray tray absolutely Ali Arif is saying that hi I'm late to join the live session is the video recorded yes it would be it is recorded and I hope so it would be soon available on my youtube channel as well okay so pray go away and spray and wow you guys are amazing you guys are amazing so you guys are amazing so we learned a lot today like words ending with the er the words end with the a y a and a uh, a and a uh. and we learned that we need to stretch our muscles whenever we talk we need to stretch our muscles in the beginning if you do you think that you're bad at pronunciation and you have a problem that when you speak you fumble you are not fluent you need to practice with your facial muscles you need to regulate your facial muscles in order to speak properly in the beginning when you will stretch for every word later on when you'll be fluent enough then you can just speak like normally Makbul is saying, hi ma'am, how are you? I'm good, thank you so much for your participation. Rafael is here and he is saying that nice and I'm saying nice to you. Rafael, Rafael, please subscribe to my YouTube channel that is Lavi School of Language. Abdul Jabbar is saying, I think it's very essential for beginners but some people do not agree with you. Yes, it's okay and I really, 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 grandma matters but very less for beginners see grammar for me uh as a speaker as an ielts coach as a language trainer i would just say that grammar becomes a monster for people who want to who want to be fluent speakers because they are very very conscious just about the grammar rules they lose the point of expressing their thought expressing their idea and they're just too fearful of being accurate with grammar later on if you would uh, abdul jabbar if you know that then since your school since your first grade in most of the countries you start learning a b c d and after learning a b c d you start learning tenses if you think that english is for for speaking english grammar is so important then why people living in the subcontinent cannot speak good english can you please tell me they know they know grammar more than anyone in this world can you please tell me about it they are very good at grammar they know how, they have memorized everything they have memorized grammar rules they have they, they they are not they are very brilliant writers but they cannot speak why is that so they know grammar speaking has something to do with expressing yourself expressing your thoughts expressing your ideas and uh, and, and and definitely adding an adding an expression to whatever you're saying learning through listening and repeating it and then communicating in that language that is the only way to way to speak for those people who have not uh, you know studied uh, abroad or they have not lived abroad or they do not have english parents or they have not studied in good schools because I have also heard that there's a difference that you study in a government school probably in India and in Pakistan and in Bangladesh and in Nepal and all the subcontinent continent countries okay so probably they say that oh my god my schooling wasn't okay I did not go to a good school so probably I cannot learn you can always learn I always say that do not lean your ladder against the wrong wall all those people who try to give grammar lots of importance lots of importance in the beginning they linger 
They are always in a limbo. I am just going to use that word that is right between heaven and earth. They are nowhere. Neither they are zero. Neither they are on top. They are just in between. And they are stuck there for years. So I would just suggest you, if you want to be a fluent and a good speaker, try to learn unconsciously by listening and repeating and watching and trying to understand English culture because they have different ways of saying different slang words. They talk about different situations in a way and that can only happen if you're watching a film or you are listening to someone or maybe you have tuned into radio or maybe you are listening to live TV shows in English where people are being real and people are just talking people are not teaching you grammar there that is called the unconscious learning and that is the best way to learn of course as an English teacher if you're taking IELTS exam for IELTS exam, grammar matters. For IELTS exam, everything matters. You need to be accurate. Of course, either you're a doctor, you're an engineer, or you're, you are a student. And you might have graduated, or you might have a PhD. And I think so. For that purpose, you must be good at English. I'm talking about... All those people who want to be fluent speakers at their offices, they want to give presentations, they are just students, they want to make friends, they want to talk to people uh, around the globe. I'm talking to them that please do not take pressure of grammar. No. Brazil, 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 Brazil. Okay, great. Thanks. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Looking superb, Raja is saying thank you. Some days, you know, it's it's a blue, blue day. I'm wearing blue color today. Majid is saying, hi, ma'am. How are you? Yes, you're right. We start from grammar. So then why not, sir? I think, Sayed, you might have studied grammar for 16 years of your life, but still you're here taking the lecture. So that is not the secret. I'm just telling you this. Reading, reading, see, unconscious learning is the key, guys. Please, please, please try to understand it. Oh, my God, my legs. Okay, so, um, I, I am, um, uh, I understand when you talk. Okay, but I, okay, five, five, five plus, I don't know what's that. Cut your nails. Yes, Raheem, thank you so much. Quite long. I need to cut my nails. I need to trim my nails a little bit. Thank you. I was thinking about it today as well. Trimming the nails, not cutting all of them off uh, for sure. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know. Okay. So what else do we have next? We have Suresh saying that I, uh, if I had uh, got, uh, if I got a chance, I would have removed grammar score from an IELTS exam. No, no, no. See, grammar mat. We are talking about accuracy. Uh, we are talking about accuracy once. I'm just teaching you the method to be accurate. That's not through grammar. Just, just, that's not through grammar, sir. There are people, the secret to English learning is not grammar. And it can never be grammar. Never be grammar. I'm just telling you this guy. Secret of English learning is listening, repeating, and visualizing, and observing, and practice. I'm talking about speaking. Even reading can help you. Reading can help you generate all those ideas and learning how to think in English. Because then, at that point, rather, grammar also makes you translate a lot. Because you always try to understand grammar in your own language. You try to understand grammar in your first language. And that also becomes a problem for you. Still, you are busy with your indirect method of learning. That's not going to help you. And if you want to have like, um, if you want to have like, uh, you know, a very fluent and a very natural way of speaking, then of course you have to take another way. That's another way for sure. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. A very stupid comment somebody has said, and I am just going to cross my legs once again. Okay, so uh, what else do we have? We have more than all these. You should have confidence to speak. See, whatever you know. See, Suresh, whatever it is, we learn through listening. We learn through watching. We, we learn through 
communicating with someone maybe you might have seen that for example if you have a girlfriend or if you have a friend in england or in america or in canada and you chat with them every day you would find yourself at a place that you would see that you you, you would see that you have you have improved your english so much unconsciously and you don't even know grammar and you're such an effective communicator that if you're even making because you learn through somebody types something in a certain way and you know that that person is correct normally you know that english speakers when they speak they are correct so you you that you, you register you register their method of pronouncing words you register their method your sorry you register their method of uh you know making sentences like casual sentences slang words or whatever this is this is the best way for learning and please do not lose hope and all those people there are people who come to me and they say i want to learn grammar i want to learn english okay are you sure about this are you really sure that you would memorize those 1000 rules of grammar and still not you would still not be able to speak i mean like that doesn't make sense for me okay Dear ma'am I said that grammar uh, is less important I didn't mean grammar is important for beginners Uh yes I'm just talking about an effective uh communication where you learn how to express yourself and uh grammar comes later grammar comes later yes you're right Abdul no worries I did not mind it I'm just explaining it so nice teaching and fluent speaking he hydran is saying hydran thank you so much and please subscribe to my youtube channel go you have beautiful eyes i can see your profile picture you're so beautiful please subscribe to my youtube channel that is lavi school of language lavi school of language is my youtube channel please subscribe and i have mentioned the link in the description box Uh Suresh is saying learning is a journey which never ends. Amazing. A smart person is here. Okay, Karim the is saying Karim 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 ma ka, okay, whatever. Uh writing and speaking there is a big difference between them and the people can understand um people can understand English but can't speak. What is the reason behind this? Here are those people ha ha here here are those people who who are type in amazing comments but believe me they they cannot face uh they cannot speak yes karim you're right you know you, speaking has a lot to do with practice speaking has a lot to do with your listening speaking has a lot to do with confidence and uh, that's correct uh thank you robina thank you for your youtube channel go you're amazing Jojo is saying my country is Algeria I think so that's how you pronounce it and my language is Arabic hey I know one word in Arabic I would like to say that Habibi okay grammar is not important for speaking it is important but at a very later stage if you want to sound accurate or whatever there are kids also they speak perfect english even in subcontinent if you would see a school sorry if you would see a kid from a from an elementary class or probably whatever you call it play group they can speak english they don't know grammar but they are fine because they they know how to mimic um you are speaking very clearly but whatever we listen in movies their words mostly out out of it okay uh R rubina listen see in movies if you you're watching an american film if you're watching a british film they use their street language you know street language just like if you have hindi or if you have urdu or if you have punjabi or if you have any other language there are different dialects remember that when you are a teacher and when you are in meetings and when you are a person who communicates and a person who teaches you have to use rp that is called the received pronunciation you cannot go for the street language right each word is properly pronounced you don't glot your words just like in movies people glot their words like in england the word water they glot their t sound and it becomes wo a t is gone wo a wo a 
But as teachers, of course, when we are teaching people how to pronounce properly, we always teach through the method of RP, that is received pronunciation. You say bottle, and it becomes a bottle, right? You say better, it becomes better. That's better. You just hear that, right? So uh, once you will understand that there is, there is this thing going on as well that you have to use your glottal T's and you have to glot certain words. Glot means to just take in, do not pronounce them. So this is what happens, Rubina. I hope you can understand. Parts of speech, of course, very important, necessary. Yes, in the beginning, you, that can really just help you in the beginning just to understand that, oh, I know my nouns, I know my pronouns, I know my conjunctions, prepositions the rest of it that's good that's good now is saying she is teaching us the basic and the basic starts with correct pronunciation or reading terms properly and grammar is another uh, uh, another broad topic very broad topic trust me Navishana, I don't know where do you come from. Probably you come from India or some other place uh, but you're right you're absolutely right you're so right grammar is um, yeah, it matters, of course, but it is totally out of the actual topic right now. Yes, you're right. Uh, can you accept my friendship? Uh, okay, uh, you can, you the first whom speaking, I can clearly understand your accent is extraordinary. Abit, listen, I'm going to just tell you, go and listen to Queen Elizabeth. Go and listen to RP. Type RP on your YouTube and listen. You would be able to understand every person who speaks with received pronunciation and do not speak in a casual cockney street language style. RP is a standardized way of pronouncing words. Abed, go and check for yourself, okay? English movies words mostly cross my brain. Sometimes I, Robina is saying that and I, uh, I feel I have listening issue of their language. I told you, ma'am, what could be the problem. Glotto words and not pronouncing the R's because if I say that, that's my car. That's my car. So you're like, what is a car? What is a car? I don't know that because you're waiting to hear car because you have heard car. You have not heard car, but now you know that all the British people say car, C-A-R, car, F-A-R, far. Mm. Tell me more rhyming words with car, like A-R at the end, like car, far, bar, B-A-R, bar. Uh, may, ma, ma, sorry, uh, ma'am, yesterday, Makbul is saying, ma'am, yesterday I asked you a question, but you did not answer. I asked you how to improve vocabulary, uh, writing good English kindly. Okay, Makbul, if I missed your question yesterday, of course, I'm going to answer it again. Okay, but listen, learning vocabulary is not a difficult task. It is very easy and you just need to do one thing. Grab a copy or a diary for yourself and... And I'm just going to demonstrate it to you. Where's my pen? I'm, let me type it for you. I'll just show you. Just a moment. Makbul, I'm answering your question here. Never mind. I am answering your question. I will take this off. And I will write on it. Just a moment. I'm just going to show you something. How you can learn your uh, vocab. Stay here. Don't go anywhere. Hello? Um, I will just uh, convey the message. Hello, I subscribed just now. Oh, Rubina, you're such a sweet person. Prefix and suffix. Difficult. Okay. Hi, uh, don't uh, pick holes in other. Uh, no matter what you are learning, maybe you learn a new word here. Yes. Thank you for being positive. Okay. Okay, great. Best grammar lecture on YouTube, can you suggest? Uh, grammar is available everywhere. You have this thick books on grammar. It's just about learning how to use grammar, learning how to use grammar. And honestly, and honestly, guys, I have seen people learning grammar from their childhood. Still, they are confused when they speak, when they write. All their life, they are struggling for grammar. And still, they find that later on, they, 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 they think that, okay, if I can do that, I hope my child could. And then they put their child 
um, they put their child in a good school and where they never learn grammar, but they learn great English, they speak great English, they, they write great English, just because they learn English as a language without paying much attention to the grammar rules. Uh, guess you guess guess you're driving a car and I think grammar is like a spare tire while speaking if you will care about your grammar you will forget see now, now you you made this little error that you will forget now how to correct your own grammar okay there's a lot of light around me okay for example you have written you will forgot now there's a grammar rule quickly whenever you this is the way to learn grammar okay i'm just telling you guys the easiest way to learn grammar and sorry there's a lot of light okay uh this is for why is it so bright why is it so so bright i don't know why it's so bright okay i think it's getting better now okay i'm just going to tell you like he said will forgot after will, we always use the first form of verb. If you want to learn grammar, always learn it from your mistakes. <clears throat> Write something, send it to a teacher, send it to a person who is an English speaker, send it to a person who is good at English and you consider that person good, okay? And then, always learn from your mistakes. You cannot jump into the ocean of grammar and then learn grammar. Whatever mistakes you make, try not to make those mistakes again. And this is the best way to learn. Like Karmid, Karimad, Karim. I'm telling you that after will, we always go for the first form of verb. And next time, whenever you write that, go for the first form of verb. We'll forget what we were saying. And I think so. I think so. How to improve reading. Your English is concept and clear and I like you. Thank you. Jojo, I like you too, man. Law is a good word. Law, okay. The, see, law is a word like law and there are certain, sorry, sorry, American people or Canadian people, they call it la. Ah, law, law. I study law. I study la. You know, a little bit difference in pronunciation too. How to practice with native speakers for non-native country. Hey, it's easy. First of all, first of all, native speakers always appreciate and they would never make fun of you and they would still be astounded that how come you're so good at English? They won't be able to understand that being a non-native speaker, you are so good. And I'm actually one of those people and I feel so good that you guys are so, so good. Although English is not your first language, but you have come a long, long, long way. I'm actually from Philippines and I, I currently am making my... Uh, hey, is my light too much? I don't know. Why is that? I need to fix it or something. I don't know what to do with that. That's too bright there. Okay, so um, uh, I'm actually from Philippines and I'm currently making my free time fruitful by watching your very juicy live session. Juicy? Okay. Read, read, read. Uh, please, ma'am, uh, suggest me some help. Makbul's question is still there and I don't want to leave without answering his question. Hey, why is it so bright? I think it's fine now. Is it fine now? I think so it is. Because earlier it was like way too bright. Okay. Please, ma'am, suggest me some helpful English movies with subtitles. And I just... To, sorry, I just have two months to give the IELTS exam. Oh, my God. Amazing, I will. Hi, do you ring... Uh, do you have a ring uh, in the locket? No, it's not a ring. I think so. it's just a flower or something like that. And with a ruby... Okay, general as Asians try to follow grammar rules in our daily routine and take uh, and, and talk. Sorry, it, it, is it a right way of speaking? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Avid is saying Netflix is what you are looking for. Okay, don't waste your time in reading comments. Just go ahead. time each one of you guys are putting an effort in and that is very beautiful and I think so when people put an effort in for something that should always be appreciated and each person who's in here and is typing something for me either it's good bad whatever I love you guys thank you so much because it matters 
whatever you do for someone or for something, whatever kind of thought it is, it really, really matters. It matters for me. Your comments matter. I'm just going to do the work. For the uh, Mukbul's, uh, Mukbul's question, I'm just going to do the work. Oh, everything is gone and off and done. and uh, Okay, I think it's working now. Okay, if it would work this way. Still so bright, I don't get that. Okay, I'm just gonna make it here. Never mind. Uh, just gonna uh, have the basic word here, and that is sad. And I'm then I'm gonna build a tree on top by some words. And here's my tree. I think so I'd be able to demonstrate it well. Okay, so uh, in here, I'm going to use my basic words here. And in here, I'll be using my words from intermediate vocab. And in here, I'm going to go for advanced. Okay, so uh, I might have to draw at the back as well. Because I think so, only then you'd be able to see it. Just a moment. Mm. In the meantime, all those people who are here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. That is Lavi School of Language. Lavi School of Language. And I have put the link in the description box. Please try to subscribe to my channel. If I could do that. Okay, basic. All those people who are watching me right now, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Lavi School of Language. Lavi School of Language. And all those people who want to see more pictures of me and see more of my personality, they can follow me on my Instagram. That is Anna Angelina 134. Anna Angelina 1. Sorry. Yes. That is my Instagram ID. Oh my god, this is a lot of work. I'm just building in here. I'm just telling you, okay? If I could not do this properly, it's fine. I'm just drawing in here for you. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, can you see this? I tried my best to do it. But I. this is what I could do. Okay, boy, Mugbul or anyone who wants to learn how to learn grammar, this is the way to learn... Sorry, grammar, not vocabulary. All those people who want to learn vocabulary, I'm just going to give you guys a tip what you need to do every single day to build your vocab, okay? Listen, this is the basic word. That is sad. This is a very, very basic word. And everyone, no matter which country you come from, even if you have English as your first language or you don't, you know this word that is sad. That is sad when you're not feeling good and this is the opposite of happy so always build your vocab on the basic word put it at the very bottom and think about it that this is the seed on which i need to grow a beautiful tree of advanced english vocabulary listen sad is the basic word you put in here Sorrow. That is a word from intermediate English. You put in here sorrow. The words that you have heard somewhere and you're okay with those, you call them... See, basic words are the words that you're very comfortable with. And you think that, oh no, it's too basic. It's too basic. That is the one here, right? And then moving in here, that is the intermediate one. In here, you can add sorrow, you can add gloomy. Now, not, not, not the word from advanced vocabulary, but very basic. And you might have heard that. You might have read it in your books also. And then moving up. You, 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 you prepare for here, uh, like, melancholic, lamentable. Put it here. Melancholic, lamentable, dejected, downcast. Down in the dumps, sorry, down in the dumps we can put here because it's used a lot in our daily life too. So this is a way to learn grammar. Sorry, vocabulary, I'm still making the error. Okay, so this is the best way to learn vocabulary and you can, you can always uh, do an exercise each day 
by putting the basic word as a seed and think that okay today I'm going to learn the synonyms of this word and then try to build a tree on that and once you have done that try to write a story out of that you know maybe it's synonyms of sad so you would write a story about it that there was a sad princess so rather than saying that there was a princess who always felt regretful right and she met a melancholic prince she met a sad prince because a sad princess would get a sad prince and a happy princess would get a happy prince okay so uh, somebody is giving me their whatsapp number and why is it so bright okay let me change my filter i think it's getting too bright this is still too bright i think this is fine if i stay here is it dark or fine i don't know really not sure really really not sure yeah it's fine i think so it's okay it's much better oh. oh all of a sudden there's a wave of light that changes everything okay just tell me oh how to go back okay so um world 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 juma this is for you world 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 Lahore, Lahore, Maya, Mira, Mirha. I'm, I'm, I'm in Lahore. My school is situated in Lahore. Okay, um, can I do speaking with you? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna read all the comments. Can you learn? Uh, can you teach Japanese? That's what you're saying. Very soon, hopefully. Okay. Uh, uh, uh you, Amir Moore is saying you're looking beautiful. And do you do you think English will be widely accepted communicating language after uh, the pandemic? Chinese language will su supersede uh, everything. Safiola, Saf uh, uh, I don't know. Think positive all the time. If you don't want to learn, Eng I love English. I think so. It's a beautiful language. It just allows you to read literature. And everything okay half of the time you just waste in a lot light adjustment uh, I think Muhammad you're being too oh I just got it I just need to ignore your messages okay you look like thank you okay Jihan Judo is saying that how to pronounce the sentence people come and go in your life but the right ones right ones will always stay yes that's right People come and go and people who really love you and people who are meant to be with you and people who are for you, they would always stay. Um, sorry. Yeah, uh, Karim is saying you got a good job. Yes, that's the thing as well. He's saying that you got... You can also say you got a good job. That's like a, like more sophisticated. You're pronouncing every word. You're being like you got a good job. And you can also say you got a good job. 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 Basically, got uh becomes gotta, right? So that's the thing. Hello, ma'am. I don't think Chinese will. I think you guys can read that. Okay, suggest me, please, some English movies with subtitles, Miss Angelina. Avid is saying, Avid, please, please, please go watch some animated films. And I yesterday uh, suggested you guys that please watch King's Speech. <clears throat> Excuse me. King's Speech would really, really help you understand that how he... How he learned, you know... He, he stammered but still he learned he 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 overcame his fear and i think so you guys should watch the film i'm not telling you uh okay so okay 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 tricks are awesome to learn thank you world 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 okay most people make the okay bus bus mad is saying how long can i learn english okay 
Pasma, that that totally depends on you when you're when you would want to learn how long would it take for you normally if you're learning a language it takes at least two years at least one to two years to be fluent to be accurate and if you're focused only then if you're focused only then it takes that much time okay so uh what else do we have in here makbul is saying thanks ma'am for clarifying me that book about and i was so confused uh, help ups uh, yeah just do it every day i'm just telling you makbul i'm just telling you do it every day very soon you will find yourself at a place that oh my god i have a lot of words and i know how to use them and english language doesn't have a lot of words just few words and on top just advanced vocab that's it that's it that's about it see the light gets really better when when i just get back i think so okay 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 uh, okay um ma'am uh comment on your youtube channel please check uh check it well he has commented on my youtube channel and reply if possible i will you're just super i'll try to copy you thank you you know you can copy anyone anyone that you like i'm here to help you guys see if i'm here and talking of course it's for your help right thank you so much for the superb technique and learning a language depends on your eagerness yes he's right eagerness is is the is the feeling that you have the passion that you have passion is the energy that you have and you feel excited for that you know it's not like that you're learning english and you're like oh my god you need to enjoy that entire process of learning how to make your brain to be auto gener how to okay abdul haq is saying that how to make your brain auto generate sentences in english so you need to think in english for that you need to uh, listen to a lot of english and you will see that your brain will automatically start uh, you know communicating in english you would start having a chat in your head in english this will happen for sure and all those people who have just joined in Abdul Haq please subscribe to my YouTube channel okay and I cannot take the names of everyone but whoever is watching please subscribe to my YouTube channel guys this is Lavi School of Language and all the lectures that I have delivered here during the live session you guys can have them there because I upload all the live sessions there on YouTube you can always watch that you don't want to become a robot right uh no I don't want to So if you can you tell me how long it's been I'm online because I think so it's been an hour or more. I think an hour, not more than for sure an hour. Somebody is back and that is none other than the one and only. Oh my god, it's so hard to cross legs. Ouch. Okay. Mira Noor is saying that I have subscribed. Okay. So yes, you know sometimes like you you okay these days everything is crazy okay uh thank you thank you mirha has subscribed to my channel and mirha mirha i think so that's your name noor i can call you noor as well that's easier to pronounce by the way sorry bam today is our favorite assist uh yes farah is farah is here your my favorite assistant is here too uh mechanical english shodri mechan sorry okay if you want to call it that way you have been talking from 1 hour and 18 minutes oh my god i need to go 1 hour and 17 minutes ma'am then actually okay so who's in the favor i should go or not or we should practice these tongue twisters with open mouth okay and then i will leave okay let's quickly uh, revise our lesson for today and then i will leave Okay, the first one. Where's the first one? I cannot find it. Okay, let's practice this one first, and then we will. I'll I'll move. Okay. Oh oh. Farah, you know, uh, you are an amazing girl. Just because of you, I could do this. Okay. So uh. Remember. Remember. Oh, Noor, kisses to you. Thank you. Okay. Remember, guys. Open your mouth. This is not called an accent this is called articulation training your facial muscles 
to move in a particular direction when you're learning a different language. So do not mind and open your mouth and just observe your tongue, okay? Okay, uh, okay, so on a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor. I'm just saying it in the most exaggerated way as possible. You also have to do that. What, wherever you're sitting right now, you need to do it. On a lazy laser razor lies a laser ray razor. And today you learned a lot of rhyming words with a razor, laser ray, gay, bay. Okay, moving on to the next one. We practice this one. How many sheets? How many sheets could a sheet slitter slit? If a sheet slitter could slit sheets. Make sure you open your mouth. Make sure you say it proper. Okay? How many sheets could a sheet slitter slit? If a sheet slitter could slit sheets. Making it sheet. She, e, sheets. Never mind, it, it might look a little funny, but later on, you would have the best pronunciation ever. Okay? For I sing, don't go. Don't go, don't go. Okay, I will. I will stay for a while. In the meantime, you guys can once more practice. Wherever you're sitting, please, please, please practice this. And all those people who are watching me right now, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel by far, go ahead and subscribe. That is Lavi School of Language. I'm watching you guys, okay? Please do that. Mirhai Singh Noor. Please guys, do it. How many sheets could a sheet slitter? Slitter. You learned this sound, right? The other one. Slitter. Uh, slitter. Slit. Then T has a very soft sound. T, 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 t. If you don't know how to pronounce that, just put your hand right in front of your mouth. Make sure that you have brushed your teeth. Joking. Okay. Then you need to be like... T, 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 t. You should see that the puff of air should come out. T, 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 t. Okay, I will do this here so that you can see. T. No, no, you guys can't see that. Right? Then that is the sound of the T here. Slit. Slit. T -t -t. Whenever you're saying the T sound, the puff of air should definitely come out. Okay? My YouTube channel, Bass Met, is a Lavi School of Language, and I have mentioned the link in the description box. How many sheets could a sheet slitter, a uh, slitter? If you talk about the American style, then slitter, uh, up, slitter, right? But we're talking about slitter, like going down, slitter, okay? Slitter could slit. Sorry, where was that? How many sheets could a sheet slitter slit? If a sheet slitter could slit sheets okay for i saying that my brother is watching me and he's saying that she looks funny i told you it might be funny for some people but after a while you would be the boss of rp and you would have the best accent ever or you have the best pronunciation ever and at that point you will talk and people will listen Ma'am, I'll try to learn vocabulary after, but after some time I forget because of course you, when you don't use, you forget. So read vocabulary or learn vocabulary through contextual meaning when you're reading. You know, maybe you have read a story or something, then you will never forget. Okay, uh, okay, now I'm going. I think so I need to go get some dinner. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and today... I'm like so glad that almost 60 to 70 people watch me regularly and that's very good and sometimes it's like 100 plus and I'm so happy if you guys could even learn a little bit from me and and improve your English I'd be more than happy and if you consider me as your teacher just remember that I love you and I want the best for you I love you and I want the best for you and if you're still watching 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is Miss Angelina here. I am your IELTS coach and your language trainer. Love, love, love forever. Bye. See you later.